Hey guys, welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Fallout Tactics with me, Haxy Rage. Uh, last episode we completed the first mission, uh, sold off all our junk, uh, bought some more, pretty much just bought ammo I think for Stitch and Haxy, because I gave uh, Haxy a shotty. And we are now at, standing at the recruit, uh, the recruit dude, the recruit master. And uh, yeah, gonna see what he's got for us in terms of... I am the personnel yeoman for the Brotherhood. If you want to put together a squad, you talk to me. So, uh, what can I do for you? Listen to that voice. Coolest guy ever. Uh, but yeah. So we'll see what we can uh, get into our group. Now when I've played this game before, I've looked at these guys and I've thought to myself, they're not all that great and I sort of held off more people. But for the interest in keeping Haxi alive, and I have kept these two guys um, alive throughout the game on a previous playthrough of course that's when if they die I load in just don't take dying as an option but uh, so yeah we we'll, we'll might uh, consider taking three of these guys just for the sake of cannon fodder uh, yeah let's have a look uh, in 20th century America Trevor would have been a quarterback if you want something thrown then Trevor is your man not very bright but very good at throwing. Did I mention he can throw? Mmm. Let's have a look at him then. Small guns, that's good for starting. Throwing, I guess that's quite good because we did have a few grenades last mission and none of our guys were good at throwing and sneaking. He doesn't seem too bad actually, for a bit of cannon fodder. But he's stupid as hell by the looks of it. He can't aim, but that's not a problem at this point because we all suck at shooting. I tell you what, I might have him. Yeah, I might have him just in case we find some grenades. Who else we got? Brian. Brian is a grunt. Put a shotgun or an SMG in his hand and paint, uh, point him in the uh, correct direction. He'll fight loyalty to the bitter end. He's also got fast shot. These guys don't like aiming apparently. Um, he's not bad. His perception's a bit shit. Um. Okay, I'll take a bit of time to explain what some of this stuff is now, I guess. So strength, uh, raw physical strength, high strength is good for physical characters, modifies hit points, melee damage and carry weight. Um, I don't think we've had... Yeah, we, have, we had a few uh, melee moments last uh, last mission with Farsight, she's hitting some people with a knife. Uh, she's done some pretty good damage here and there actually. But uh, yeah, if she had a higher strength she would have done a lot more damage. But uh, carry weight, I think that is probably the most important thing for me anyway, when it comes to strength, because I like to haul crap loads of stuff from a mission, bring it back to base, sell it all off and buy some nice upgrades. But uh, yes, uh, it gives you a minor minor hit point buff as well for each strength you got. Um, perception, the ability to see, hear, taste and notice unusual things. A high perception is important for a sharpshooter. Uh, modifies sequence and range combat distance modifiers. Uh, so high, high perception, the uh, better you are at hitting. Uh, Haxi and Farsight have got pretty good perception. This guy's average, but he's got good small guns, so that might uh, might be okay. Big guns as well, we're not going to count any of those yet. And sneak, we've got a pretty sneaky team if I take this one, this dude on. Uh, endurance, stamina and physical toughness. A character of high endurance will survive where others may not. Modifier, uh, modifies hit points, poison and radiation resistance, healing rate and the additional hit points per level. So yeah, it makes him a bit more tanky basically. Um, we haven't been poisoned or radiated yet, so I guess that doesn't matter right now. Um, but yeah, he's again a very stupid one. Not good for like late game when you spend all uh, intelligence effects, um, your skill points. But we'll come to that in a bit. Um, good agility, though. Good agility. Uh, yeah, charisma. A uh, combination of appearance and charm, a high charisma is important for characters that want to influence people with words. Modify NPC reactions and barter prices. Um, I don't know how many uh, NPC reactions it does modify, because I always get my person with the best charisma to interact. Don't really go up there with someone like this dude for Charisma 1, because what's the point? Um, but yeah, the barter uh, prices is my main concern when it comes to charisma. Um, which Stitch will probably be doing, as he's the most charismatic out of the lot. Um, intelligence, knowledge, wisdom, and the ability to think quickly. A uh, high intelligence is important for any character modifies. Modifier, is that modifies? Yeah. 
um, the number of new skill points per level very very important because um, if you want to start focusing something one of these skills down here uh, high intelligence allows you to spend lots of points in that specific uh, skill or you know late game you're going to be bumping a lot of these up with uh, the spare uh, skill points um, but it also buffs stuff like repair and science I believe yeah so it just gives you a little bonus to those um, yeah I think uh, a good intelligence is pretty damn important um, what's next agility coordination and the ability to move well a high agility is important for any active character modifies action points armor class sequence and many skills um, so my most important concern with agility is what, how much stuff you get to do a turn I, if you've got low agility you're going to not be able to move far and you'll probably maybe to get one shot off a turn or something like that um, I made sure Haxi Rage uh, or Haxi rather had uh, really high agility as we wanted to be able to move around and get a lot of shots off just so he lives um, yeah this guy's agility is pretty good uh, it affects your armor class as well so how much damage you can soak up and yeah that was next luck Fake Calm and extre uh, an extremely high or low luck will affect the character. Somehow events and situations will be changed by how lucky or unlucky your character is. Uh, in other words, critical successes and critical fails. Uh, this can be bonus damage, or this can be uh, your gun misfires, uh, or you, you drop it, or you lose the rest of your clip, or, or something just really crap. You, I think like when it comes to melee stuff, you can go to hit a dude, and I think you can end up breaking your own arm or something like that if you're really unlucky but uh, and all these stuff all these uh, all these um, characteristics when it comes uh, to leveling up they can affect which perks you can and cannot get so it's quite important to sort of um, uh, well for me when creating my character it's important to sort of steer him in the direction which I want him to play into sort of thing so I want him just to be uh, a run and gun sort of guy um, so I made sure we had some good strength so we could pull the, um, the big guns and uh, carry a lot of stuff um, and the high agility was important so he could um, he could do a lot of shots per turn, move around a lot and then I, gave, I think I gave him pretty good intelligence as well just so he can get those vital skill points um, to make him a real late game sort of hard ass but um, so yeah we'll keep we'll keep looking I'm not I don't know if I'm overly thrilled by this dude um, how do we cycle? But, but mind you, he has got some pretty, pretty nice skills. Um, okay, uh, not the prettiest thing in the world. Oops, no, go back. Have a look at you then. Small guns, repair pilot. Pff. Yeah, no, thank you. Not right now. We don't have a vehicle. Maybe later. No, I need someone that's good with guns. And we've already got a, a lockpick lass, which is our far sight girl. Good perception. Good agility, meh for everything else. Small print. <laughs> That's right. That's my noise for saying I do not like this person's uh, traits. Um, who else we got? Jax. Need to take out some dog and enemy snipers to rush Jax into the flush them out. If he dies in the process, well, that's war. He's good for small guns, big guns, and energy weapons. That's quite cool. That's quite late game sort of potential. However, he's got kamikaze. I mean, if he's cannon fodder, I guess that's not a problem. But um, yeah, this just means he's gonna his armor class isn't gonna be very good. But hey, for the for the damage per turn sort of element, I think we'll take him. And um, what's your name? Torn. So having a childhood growing up in the wilderness meant that Torn had to develop fast and deadly hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, she also developed a sharp eye and keen sense of danger. So she's pff, pretty savage in um, in close combat by the looks of it. Really bad intelligence though, so not, not great luck either. What was that other dude we looked at? This dude. Yeah, we'll go with him. Cool, so this is our new team. Let's have a trot to our next mission. Um, oh no, I need to. Uh, 
we can actually get my next mission. Ah, yes, and we need to level up our guys as well. I'll do that after I talk to this dude, wherever he is, in this important looking room over here. Run, Haxi, run. Someday, I'll be part of the Dagger Squad. I don't know what the Dagger Squad is, I can't actually remember. I think this is the dude we want to talk to, is it? No, it's General Barnaby. There we go. It is shiny power armor. I like envy so much. At ease, warrior. We've underestimated the tenacity of these raiders. Shortly after your victory, the bandits have managed to kidnap the village elder. This is no doubt an attempt to break the spirit of Brahminwood while they're still suffering from their recent losses. Fortunately, one of our informants within the raider camp has located the tribal father. It appears that the raiders are holding him on the outskirts of the broken town of Freeport in a medium-sized encampment. Your mission is to journey to Freeport, rescue the elder, and get out. Our informant should still be in the area and he can be identified by the red armor he wears. So you should be able to distinguish him from the other raiders. But remember, while the informant is paid handsomely for his services, he is not a brother of steel and will not stand by your side if matters get complicated. Gather your squad. You are to depart as soon as possible. Dismissed. So that's that. Um, I realize that our squad, new squad members have no guns. I think they got armor, but we'll have a look at that, shall we? First of all, First and foremost, we will level up our main teams. So, let's have a look. So, Haxi, we'll get you up in your small guns. Just pump that all in there. So, that is just going to help his hit to hit chance a lot. Which is all good. Fast sight, same with you, my dear. Ah, see this blue, um, blue lockpick modifier here? That's because she's got this little uh, lockpick tool in her, in her um, inventory sort of thing. Uh, yeah, so if you do see that, that is why it's blue, because it's getting a minor buff or major buff, depending on what item there is. I think you, um, yeah, there'll be a few things in the game that would do that. I can't remember what specifically, but uh, right, this is Stitch, and he's got a nice new perk. So these will vary from character to character, but because of his unique characteristics, this is what he can get so far. And some of them do have a specific level requirement as well. So he's only level three, so he's not going to have some really, really powerful ones. We could save this until a later game, so he can get better, powerful perks. But um, that's you know an ideal situation, and I'm not going to wait for that. I want him to survive. I don't know what promotions do exactly, I'll find that out later. Hmm, I'm not impressed by a lot of these. Hmm, okay, no, we'll leave that, we'll leave that for now. And small guns for you as well, Stitch. Yeah. Oh, look at that. He is going to be shit hot. Cool. Right, let's have a look at Trevor Jacks of Brian's inventory. Yep, nothing, nothing, nothing. Cool. Well, I'm tempted to run him in there and gear him up on the job rather than spending our money. They are cannon fodder after all. Ah, here it is. Here's Freeport. Go, go, go. No encounters so far. That's quite good, in a way. At ease, warrior. We've underestimated the tenacity of these raiders. Shortly after oh, your we've, victory, uh, we've the heard this. Right. Let's have a look at the, uh, the pit boy. See what the map suggests. So this is our starting zone. A ladder, eh? Oh, a ladder at that little uh, bit there. 
bloody patrols. Um, okay. Okay, so we've got three entrances to the base. Silent kill, there's no. Diversion tactic there. Okay. Right, so what's here? Uh, this is the agreed meeting point. Okay, so we'll get there first to contact the uh, the uh, dude that's working for the Brotherhood. So we've got a rescue the village elder there, and that's the evacuation point. What's this? Okay. Cool. Well, in this case, let's have Haxi, Farsight. Put those tools away. We don't need those right now. Get out some stims and stitch. Let's get you out. We'll have you guys just stay back for a bit. Where's this ladder? Here it is. So can we sneak? Can't sneak. Okay. We'll run over here and then we'll crouch. Might want this dude to turn around. Oh, they got dogs as well. Brilliant. How? Why can I see them? It must be because of my dudes that I left behind. Okay. Go, Stitch. Go. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, oh, and you missed! How do you like that? Expertly executed, Mr. Stitch. Oh, okay. That was a mistake. Who have we got shooting at me? Just this dude over here. That's fine. I can get a bit of cover. And he won't be able to do sod all to me. Have I loaded more than one? No, I should be fine. Let's run over here, shall we? Ugh, I only have one movement. That's not good. Farsight and Haxi. Get up there and help your loyal doctor. Or field medic. Whatever's the right, correct term. So I'm hoping our hit chances are a little bit better this round because we've leveled up, pumped it all into small guns so we can get those vital kills and stop our guys dying. Yeah, whatever. You guys can just stay there. So he shot on me first. Does this mean I get an extra go? I can't. I can't really uh, remember how it all works. Well, the dog is very, very keen. Oh, he got hit. So you run in there. Hopefully there's none waiting for me in there. What? Oh, that's lame. Oh, well, I've shot you anyway. And then, Farsight, what's your chance to hit like? 22. So run you a bit closer then, shall we? No, no, no. Uh, that's too close. Okay, to reload then. Haxi, you back her up. What's your chances like? 9. Phew. Okay, even though we've uh, pumped a lot of into small guns, it's not made that much of a difference. And end turn with you guys, because you're useless at the moment. Ooh, look at this sneaky radar. Come on, doggy, bring it on. If he hits Stitch another two times, he could be in trouble. Oh, good, he's going for someone else. Ouch. You're going to pay for that, doggy. You do realise I do have a nice big shotty with your name on it. What's your name? Fido. Oh, sorry, Farsight. My bad. Oh, I won't do that again. That's more like it. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. So you, yeah, you better heal yourself. We don't want to risk you this early into the level. Um, can't get in there, can we? It's weird. I 
I suppose we have to go in this way. Huh. Yeah, I think the objective said to blow that up as a diversion. Alright, who's he going to go for? is moving about. The turn's taking a little bit long. Ow! Oh yeah. Maybe, just maybe, Haxi can finish him off. Oh yes. Cool. Alright, get over here. Stim yourself up. And... You guys. No, you guys. You get up here. We'll try and equip you up. I, pr I should probably give um, a shotty to one of these guys, Haxi uh, Haxi's shotty, because they are close combat weapons. I don't think you need a lot of um, a lot of small guns to work them really. So let's do that. Right, who's got the best small guns again? I forget. Character Trevor Brian is so. Hmm. I guess we'll give it to Trevor. Oh dear. What's that about? Okay then. Uh, where were we? Ah uh, yes. Here you go, Trevor. And here's some shotty shells to go with it. Um, better get into the stims as well. Cool, so Trevor's geared up. Um, Jax, what have you got again? Mediocre small guns, got some big guns as well. Uh, we will give him this pistol, so we get some of that. We will also put this in here. I don't know what that raid is doing. Brian, I know you are half decent with rifles, aren't you? So we'll give you that, uh... Yes, you are. Cool. Yeah, 86%. And then we just need to distribute a few stims as well. How many you got stitch? Seven. Seven. Well, Hax is clearly hogging them all. And I think we're all armed up, aren't we? No, you don't have a gun. But we can sort that. Go loot this dude. Oh, that's why. Sweet. Right. Give that dude who has a pistol. Who is it? It's you. Yeah, give him all your pistol ammo. And we shall be ready to rock. Sweet. Right. So, Stitch and Trevor, the guys of the shotties. I think you want to come over here first, don't you? Never had this many people as a starting. Eee! Right then. Looks like we're gonna blow you guys' kingdom come. If I don't get killed first. Trevor, get your revenge, my son. And run away. Stitch, your turn. Get you 
guys to fall in. Um, far side. That is the main entrance over here. Yeah, I won't be going that way. I think I'll suggest what the uh, the Pip Boy map said to do. Um, it's a bit congested here. I'll get him to come around this side. It's a shame I can't get in here because I'd love to just take her by surprise. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Actually, you join a. Uh, Oh, this isn't Haxi, for fuck's sake. There's Haxi. Alright, whatever. I was hoping I could hit that with the uh, shotty spread to blow him up. Never mind. Right, let's zoom out this map on this. Yeah, there we go. There's about five people in there, I think. Let's get your stims out, because you got a little bit hurt there. Right. You're still not in a good position, so I won't have you attack this turn. Stitch. Let's see if we can get... Eyes on you, give you our time. Who's next? Yeah, it's a bit, um, bit too small a space to work with at the moment. Move you there so you can shoot next turn. Might as well move you as well. And I'll put some stints in your inventory. Don't want you dying, Haxi. Otherwise, it's game over. And it'll be the shortest Let's Play ever. His turns are taking a while. I don't know how many players are actually moving about and doing things. I'll get these guys at a later point. Right now. Let's do what the pit boy suggested. Ow! Give such a cheeky shot there. Right. Take a step forward, which might be a bit dangerous. Yeah. But this allows us to... Do you know what? Balls out. I know I shouldn't be doing that, but it's going to be a, a bloody slow game if I don't. So, uh, you can move four... You can move five and shoot. I like it. You, sir. I missed. Brilliant. Right, now you can move here. And I think you can... You s you're not seeing any of these dudes? You can't. You can move another three and shoot, so we'll do just that. And we'll hurt you. Nice. Um, Haxi, your turn. Stand next to Farsight. Give this guy some more jip. What else we got? We've got you with your pistol. So I guess we could have you come here. Six. There was not enough for you to fire. Move you five. God, your chance to shoot is absolutely woeful. Stand next to our friend Haxi. Get this dude. Mm. That's the end of that one. I said, that's the end of that one. There we go. <clears throat> I don't expect a full squad to survive here. I'm just hoping the uh, original three of my squad are the ones to get away with uh, their lives intact. So far, it doesn't look like we've got too much of a problem. These guys absolutely suck. Yeah. Right, you can go later. 
you are shite, aren't you? What is your melee skill? I might knife you. Kind of regret having this dude now. So it's like if we run right up to you. There we go. Nope. Cool. Haxi, can you finish her off? Or finish him off rather? Knocking him out, I'll settle for that. And you, Stitch, you run right over here. I don't think this dude can see you. Um, reload. You do suck a bit, but we'll have you... Mm, doesn't do that much. We'll go for it anyway. Oh, nice. And again. Woohoo! Liking it. Getting some hits in this uh, this game. Compared to last game, we're a, we're a bunch of pros. So he's knocked out. That's nice. Didn't expect that to happen this early. You wounded, son of a bitch, bitch, fab me. Well, it looks like you're severely wounded, mate, and all my guys are healthy, so... And if she thinks something's going to turn around very, very quickly, I think I'm going to just be standing over your dead body laughing. I'll do it. I'll do it as well. But which one is going to laugh? Will it be Stitch? I think it will be, you know. He's right next to him. It'll be silly not to. <laughs> that felt good. We'll have you here, so we can have you engage him next turn. Oh! Where did that come from? Surely not this dude over here. Well, he looks a bit heavily armoured, actually. I look forward to that. Might be able to steal some armour off him. Ah, this dude, I think it was. Far sight. Can you take him out? No, you can't even see him. Um, we'll move you up. So I'm feeling a bit, I'm feeling a bit uh, invincible at the moment. We'll move you up as well. Yeah, keep going. Who else we got? Trevor. You go over here, and if you can see him, I'd like you to finish him off. Yes, let's do it. Actually, yeah, might as well. Might even blow this thing up. Or completely miss and just uh, finish off that guy. This guy's just... he might as well be a friggin' caveman. Or a bullet sponge, either way. Who's this dude? Where are you, Brian? Oh, you're all the way back here. Oh, get in there, my son. Much, much blood to be shed. I don't think guts ever look pretty on the ground, my friend. You're one sick guy. Here we are trying to clear the, uh, the wasteland of the likes of you. Where are you? Right, no. Trevor. No, Jax. A oh, big caveman-like dude. So we'll do a normal shot. He missed. And do a triple, see how that goes. Hey, it worked. So if I put you here, Stitch, you're not going to blow this dude away, are you? Let's hope not. Ooh. Okay. Uh, oil drums, there we go. Okay, let's not like, make that mistake again. Um, we'll just have you run all the way over here. What you like. Yeah, we'll, we'll take some shots at you. see this dude? No, we're running over here so you can then. Ah. I think that's my turn. <sighs> you suck. Never gonna hit us from over there. And even if you are, there's gonna be one shed of luck that's made you do that. Awesome, so we'll kill this guy. I, hope, I don't even know if he's gonna pursue us actually. We're in combat in here, see so if he runs up. We didn't put all our guys on Overwatch. If 
if need be, and he'll just run in there and we'll get m absolutely minced. Quite glad I made the decision to bring Trevor Jackson Bryan along. As I think Axie, Farsight and Stitch might have taken a little bit of jip from these guys if they were by themselves. Run everyone in here and see if that dude comes up to uh, to kill us. Take a bar. You go here, Stitch. Can you still see us? Oh, these are. There's a lot of red dots here. What are these guys? Are they sleeping? Did he take a shot then? I couldn't tell. Eve, I will get far sight in here and end combat. Cool. Right, Stitch, you go on Overwatch. Uh, you can't because you're not in combat. Ok, we'll load everyone up regardless. Uh, Trevor, he's up. up. And... Jax, do the same. Right. Time for a little bit of loot. I just realised... Ooh, hello. We'll give that to... Uh, the other oh aha he has decided to uh to take us all on what a brave little raider oh he's got a friend he's got a lady friend cool well so far so good uh i'm gonna end the episode here guys um so yeah next in the next episode we'll take these guys out loot all these uh, raiders that we've um, shot up with absolutely no trouble at all they were, I went a lot easier than I thought and uh, yeah we might even be able to finish the next episode sorry this mission in the next episode so yeah tune in for the next one uh, like if you like and subscribe if you want to want to see more episodes cheers guys thanks for watching and I will catch you later bye bye